Hello, this is Attorney Sharp Rally, and uh, today we are going to go into a continuation of the OPT, the new OPT 24 month for the students. And uh, one of the things which is becoming a, which is a major requirement is, as you know, it's a STEM OPT. What the government has done now is they have redef kind of quote unquote redefined the the rules and STEM OPT because um, they are really kind of uh, strictly construing the rules of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These are the only one which will be the element that will ultimately get the 24-month OPT. Uh, earlier, we have kind of looked into the 24-month OPT and working with consulting companies, but there are other issues. One of them is basically not everything will be considered under the STEM. So here they have a list and um, the thing that they're using are those two codes and the two digit code first and then of course there's a code of um, and if you look at that list here which was published uh, on May 10 uh, which w became effective on May 10 under the new rule uh, they have kind of defined what will be under the under the uh, um, STEM OPT. So not everything will be under STEM OPT just because it's science. What most of our clients uh, usually look for are, are those um, and not wildlife. Uh, we don't have that many clients in wildlife unfortunately but here we go. Um, this is uh, wh where we really, really kind of going to focus our attention. So make sure you're falling into those codes, right? If you're taking those classes to get the STEM OPT, you might want to, to, fall, to make sure that you fall under those codes because if you don't, you're going to have a problem uh, expecting to get a STEM extension. We know there are a lot of other problems attached to the STEM extension, but this one is the first step to even move on the STEM extension 24 month. And I, I will post, um, I will update this list with a link where you can get it. But make sure what it says here, the STEM designated degree list is a complete uh, list of the fields of study that DHS considers to be science, technology, engineering, or mathematics under the 8 CFR 214.2F. So uh, the truth is that before when we hear anything which is related to science, we will, we will be under the assumption that those fall into the STEM OPT but not anymore so you need to follow that CIP summary group series and if you look at it here they have those two, two digits code level for engineering code 14 biological and um, biomedical sciences code 26 mathematics and statistics code 27 physical sciences 40 so make sure that you are in um, uh, in those field and of course any related field will also be accepted so now it seems like almost to get the OPT there should be a full analysis like we, we do on the H1B so be ready for that ladies and gentlemen this is not going to be an easy process so we recommend that you have a good attorney by your side to assess your case before you even take classes I'm hoping all the DSOs and the school will pay attention and make sure everything is done properly we wish all the students good luck and those who have not made it under the H1B give us a call we can look into alternatives for you 510-742-5887 and anything I'm telling you today is for educational purposes only you should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided you should contact an attorney if you have any questions good luck thank you